This is the wiring diagram of a radiola 3A and it is a regenerative circuit and it doesn't matter which antenna input I use so I'm just going to use two and the RF, the radio frequency from the radio station passes through those two capacitors onto the control grid of the first tube. That resistor that is across the second capacitor, that is the grid leak resistor and it supplies the bias for the control grid of the first tube. Now the first tube is going to amplify that signal that's on the control grid and it comes out of the plate through the coils and the amplification rotor through the capacitor. It goes around that first audio transformer because the RF frequency is too high a frequency. It cannot pass through the coil. It'll go through that bypass capacitor. Now the coils at the top along with the amplification rotor are producing an RF magnetic field that is cutting across all the rest of the coils inducing a feedback now this is going to be positive feedback back to the grid of the first tube which amplifies it even more and of course then it feeds back even more energy and this radio comes with a warning in the operating manual not to overdo it because if you do this receiver will turn into a transmitter and I have a demo of that as you can hear I've got an AM radio on and I'll turn on the speaker here a little bit the speaker Now we're amplifying the station with this, but I'm going to go too far. And you can hear the transistor in the background. And I'm going to turn off this speaker here. Definitely transmitting. So as we saw, it's very important not to overdo the feedback in this radio because it actually transmits pretty well. Now another part of this regenerative circuit is this the filament and the control grid act like a diode and actually rectify that RF signal that's being amplified and here I'm showing the RF along with it but with the right amount of feedback so it amplifies the radio station and does not transmit. Now this rectified audio from the RF signal since it is on the control grid also gets amplified 
by the same tube. And this audio signal goes through the coils, but this time notice that it goes through the audio transformer. And that gets magnetically coupled to the secondary of the next stage. And it, of course, is sent over to the control grid of the next tube, which amplifies the signal, the audio signal. And the primary of the second audio transformer is magnetically coupled to the secondary. But this time we have a push-pull circuit and there's two signals being sent to the next two tubes. Each of those tubes amplifies the signal and it gets sent to the output which drives the horn speaker. Here's a demo of this Radiola 3A playing a radio station. And I'm sure you've noticed that I do not have WD-11s plugged in this radio. I have four adapters that allows me to use aut one as in this radio. I hope this video helped you understand the regenerative circuit, that it takes the RF frequency from the radio station, amplifies it, gets positive feedback, amplifies it some more, and also rectifies the amplified RF into an audio signal and then the rest of the radio amplifies that audio signal that drives a horn speaker fairly well. Thanks for watching.